Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date, March 18, 2016, our discussion is going to be on slaves. We know in Genesis that Joseph was sold into slavery because his brothers were jealous of him. And God used Joseph and he became a great ruler and ruled for many, ruled for many years and he was able to helped the Israelites out and they grew. But we know in Exodus 1 that the Israelites became slaves and had been so for 400 years. God heard their cries for help and chose Moses to lead them out of Egypt. Leviticus 26.13 I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt so that you would not be slaves any, any longer. I have broken your chains so that you can walk with dignity. Ezra 9.9 9, For we were slaves, but in your love and mercy you did not abandon us to slavery. Instead, you caused the kings of Persia to be favorable to us. They have even given us their assistance in rebuilding the temple of our God and in giving us Jerusalem as a walled city in Judah. Psalms 49.14 Death is the shepherd of all mankind and in the morning those who are evil will be the slaves of those who are good. For the power of their wealth is gone when they die. They cannot take it with them. In John 8, Jesus replied, You are slaves of sin. Every one of you and slaves don't have rights, but the Son of Man has every right that there is. When we're born into the world, we are born as slaves, and this is because of the sin that Adam and Eve committed in the garden. God brought us out of slavery and sin through His Son, Jesus Christ. If you confess your sins, do well and truly repent. God hears you, and you are no longer slaves in sin. Tear down the old man of slavery and build a new. Do not store your riches here on earth, because in heaven they're worth less. I want to thank you today, and have a blessed day. God bless.